Hi everyone, it's your girl Ash back again and today's look is inspired by photosynthesis and I'm going to be talking about what it is and some biological facts about biology in makeup and today's video is dedicated to Dr. Bidlack who is my biology professor and this is for an extra credit assignment so I need that 30 extra credit test points so hit me up Dr. Bidlack. Let's jump into it. Today's main topic of discussion is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize foods from carbon dioxide and water. Photosynthesis in plants generally involves green pigment chlorophyll and generates oxygen as a byproduct, which is why I choose the green makeup. The process of photosynthesis goes as follows. CO2 and H2O enter the Leaf, then light hits the pigment in the, in the membrane of the thycoloid, which splits the H2O into oxygen. The electrons go down to the enzymes. Sunlight hits the second pigment molecule, allowing the enzymes to convert ADP to ATP, and NADP gets converted to NADPH. The ATP and NADPH is used by the Calvin cycle as a power source for converting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into simple sugar glucose. The Calvin cycle converts CO2 molecules from the atmosphere to glucose. Then the Calvin cycle begins. Makeup is heavily entrenched in biology. Methyl paraben is an ingredient used in many cosmetic products. It alters levels of oestrin, which increases development of breast cancer. Many products contain human placenta, mink oil, human breast milk, beetles, infant foreskin, whale vomit, and many more biological compounds. Many cosmetic companies do animal testing, especially brands that sell in China such as MAC and Benefit. Skincare products, foundation, and Botox use biotechnology to improve the performance of their products. Those skincare products use parabens to help with the anti-aging process, and also the red microallergy is utilized to provide a quick beauty enhancement and long-term protection to the skin as well. And you might also want to remember that we discussed the red microallergy in lecture. Photosynthesis!